Hi, it's my time to shine. Well, it's on Lifetime, not Lifetime Movie Network. Escaping the Royal Palace. Um, before this movie came on, I already had my say so. In certain lives, you gotta be certain ways. Everybody know what they sign up for before you sign up. If you don't read the small print and something come back to bite you in your ass, you want to lose in court. Everything is always written out for people. If you don't want to take that way or you don't want to take that route, you shouldn't get yourself in that situation. Bottom line, um, what I think is they live a different life than what we could ever imagine. And I feel as though that Megan had her own choices. She already was already in her own career doing whatever she wanted to do. And she chose to go into that lifestyle. And they feel though that she made a lot of chaos in her family. The royals got their own way of living. Just like rich people got their own way of living as well. So I'm like in between as um, far as the choices that you know she made and put her husband in but at the end of the day racism is a non-existent situation that i tend to try to ignore even with myself um that's a no-go no matter what racial racism is a whole different demeanor but far as rules and regulations of how people live and when you get into their life that's like you getting into a religion and you doing something else that's not the religion for you so me i look at things with an open mind so it's like half queen elizabeth half megan and Lou. that's how i look at it just always look at what you sign up for um bottom line and then if you get in it you don't like it you gotta leave yeah your husband supposed to go where you go but it really is supposed to be the woman supposed to go with a husband go i mean that's really how it is but I'm just doing a minor read or whatever because I'm just doing it. But I don't know either way. But I know the racism is definitely there for the um Queen Elizabeth. That that always was out there, even when I was a little girl and I used to like watching some of the stuff and I was told to turn that shit off because she don't even like our kind. Period. They barely don't even like the way Americans live, in other words. Um, they downgrade us, period, um, no matter what. They may smile, come, they do their little charity for whatever they got to do, but they look down. So, I was told that as a kid. So, like, that's not nothing there. But anyway, it's on Lifetime, period. Not Lifetime Movie Network. Um, don't forget that I am the one... One question reads for $15, five card readings for $35, and my regular prices stay. Uh, we're going to see what's the energy that's going around at this time. I just can't wait to get my massage tomorrow after I go to the doctor, get my surgery date, and then move forward to try to drive my butt to Cherry Hill where I need to be at. Um, I need a two-hour massage and then take myself out to eat fry or something like that. But, yeah, I mean, I know when things get right with me, I'm going to have to change. Like, how I'm living is fine, but what, what I'm trying to be, I'm going to have to change a little bit. But I don't mind because I already did the whole change. I ain't got time for nothing. I may live, you know, in the ghetto they claim, but ghetto is not me, bottom line. I'm just, I never, it never was. So... I'm just ready for all my new beginnings and everything I got to do to accomplish it because I'm just, I'm ready. So, that's bottom line. So, we will see what's going on with this energy. And this came back on. Yeah, Ten of Cups, bottom line is your happiness is everything. Without happiness, it's like, it, 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 it's like, what is there to live for if you're not happy and you're miserable all the time? So I understand she's on happiness and she wasn't happy there. I would have left, me personally. I don't deal with nothing. I don't even deal with niggas that had millions. They in the feds now and they was doing them too much. I had to leave them too. Like, 
I'm on a whole nother path than others. Some people just be stuck. But this Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy is about happiness. What is the energy surrounding this reading at this time? Are you ready to go? Eight of Pentacles. Just focusing on working and building your money up. That's my energy as well. Being happy and stacking my money. Thinking about my money. And stuff like that. And just happiness. You feel what I mean? Working up toward what I got to work up to. Ten of Swords. You coming up out of having um, a painful ending in situations. Bottom line, I definitely resonate with this. Like, it ain't no more hurting me in any type of way. I'm out. As soon as I see it. Anything. Somebody coming up out of having strength. Could be Megan. Coming up out of having that strength. You can't. You can only have so much strength here. Ten of Swords came out. Somebody coming up out of a painful end or something that kept hurting them. Somebody could keep stabbing you over and over again. And then at the time you explode, you got to get away from them. Like I get away from people. Page of Cups. Somebody um, wanted to offer something. But they ain't really had nothing like a page. You feel what I'm saying? Capo no, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. With the Chariot, you moved away fast from that energy. Cancer energy. With the Ace of Swords, you got truth and clarity over a situation. Bottom line, you just move past that shit. You're like, I'm done with it. And then with the three of wands, somebody's ships ain't coming in. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And then we got the Empress reverse. They confused about something here. And with the seven of swords, somebody is undefeated here. And all somebody wants is just pure happiness. And that's what they going after. And that's what I see like even with this movie. Because I've been always following everything with them. If it ain't about your happiness, yo. You got to let it go. Peace, light, and blessings. And I'm off tomorrow since I work today. I'm not doing no reads tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to get a massage and just tomorrow will be read book day or go out to eat for myself something. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe if you like the content. Peace, light, and blessings to all.